Hi guys, welcome to my latest video uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how I tie my very easy and simple to use multi-purpose rig. To make this rig you will need uh, some size 4 split shots, some coated braid, semi-stiff, some rig pullers, a lighter, a pair of scissors, a coated braid stripping tool, an anti-tangle sleeve and your hook of choice. Now I've gone for a curve shank size 6 from Bank Tackle. Firstly take the length of the coated braid and thread it through the back of the hook. Now I suggest using the rig pullers here to steady the hook plus keep the hook point away from your fingers while you're tying your designated knots. My choice of knot for this rig is the Grinner knot, purely because I think it's a small, tighter and neater knot to be using for this hook. To tie this knot, simply make a large loop with your tag end, thread it through four times at moistening just before you pull this knot tight and bring it right up to the eye of the hook. Then once you've pulled it up nice and tight to the eye of the hook, it's simply a case of cutting off the tag end. And simply blobbing the excess with a lighter. Now it's time to make a break in the coating of the braid to make the all important hinge section below the eye of the hook. By general rule of thumb, I would strip one and a half to two centimeters of coating away from the braid. Obviously, you can make the brake smaller or larger depending on what sort of features on the lake bed you're casting to, and obviously, your designated hook bait. Once stripped, make sure that the coating and the braid are nice and clean and that you've got enough movement in the brake and the hook bait. Now thread on the anti-tangle sleeve and tie an overhand knot to form a loop at the end of your hook link. it tight and nice and secure with the rig puller. Snip the tag ends and again blob with a lighter. And then pull over the anti-tangle sleeve covering up the knot. Leaving a small loop at the end so you can clip onto your designated terminal tackle like a leg clip system. Now we need to add the size 4 split shot to the rig. I put the shot just past the edge of the brake and onto the first bit of exposed braid. Pull it tight and then clamp it down either with your teeth or maybe a set of pliers. And then just double check that you've still got the movement in the brake of the braid that you need. Now to be able to attach my hook bait, I simply thread on a bait screw followed by a bait stop, just pulling it round to be parallel with the hook point. Now it's time to test the rig in water to see how it balances out. As for this hook link that we are using a semi-stiff material, it would quite easily be able to contour to the lake bed that you're casting onto. Or alternatively, you can put the hook link between two rig pullers, pull tight over a kettle and steam to stiffen out the hook link to be dead straight, just in case if you know you're, you're casting out onto a dead flat surface. 
Balancing out your hook link in advance before hitting the bank is vital to knowing that your rig will be fishing for you when you need it to be. And also to know that it will work with a whole variety of different hook bait choices. With that break in the coated braid just below the eye of the hook, you know, with whichever hook bait presentation you decide to go with, that hook has every opportunity to lift and turn and nail a great hook hold. Right, well, here we are at the end of the video now. I hope this has been informative for you, and I hope you can see why I like to use this rig and how it has managed to land me my last handful of carp. And maybe you even think about using it and changing it, making some variances of your own and helping you bank some carp for yourself. See you all soon.